Hi, my name is Dr. Sharath and I work as a consultant in surgical oncology at Astra Medicity. So let's talk about breast cancer today. Breast cancer is the most common cancer worldwide, affecting almost 2.3 million women every year. Now, uh, the symptoms with which they present are usually breast lumps as well as nipple discharge, inversion or change in shape and position of the nipple. But the most important thing which I want to discuss is that most of the early breast cancers, they do not present with any symptoms at all. Now, this is a particular disease. Why this topic requires special attention is that early breast cancer has one of the best cure rates among cancer. The most important thing is the detection of the disease at the earliest as well as the proper scientific treatment of the disease. Now, uh, various uh, guidelines have recommended screening mammograms starting at different age groups. But we at ASTA, we follow the uh, the, uh, we follow a pattern of starting screening mammograms at the age of 40 years, every 2 years up to 45 years and from 45 years to 65 years we recommend an annual screening mammogram. If you have a family history of breast cancer, it's better to get this mammogram done earlier after of course consulting with a treating doctor. Now uh, the surgical, the treatment modalities of breast cancer varies. There are surgical options, then the patient might request systemic therapy which can include hormone therapy as well as chemotherapy and in various patients the patient might require uh, radiation as well. The type of treatment is determined by the stage of the disease and as well as the, uh, the, situation, the health condition of the patient. Surgery is the most important part of treatment in early breast cancer. Most of the patients who present early have small lumps and they can undergo surgery, uh, the breast conservation surgery as well as mastectomy options are there. Uh, breast conservation is the most commonly done surgery, almost in 80% of the patients we can conserve the rest of the breast and remove the lump alone, giving excellent oncological benefits as well as an excellent cosmosis. Uh, the proper evaluation has to be done by a uh, surgical oncologist who is trained in breast surgeries. Now, uh, even in patients who require mastectomies, almost 20% of the patients have no other option other than go to go for mastectomies. In such patients also, we have the option of surgical removal of the entire breast and reconstruction options with free flap as well as pedicle flaps, even implants in some patients. Now, the systemic therapy uh, is both, both chemotherapy as well as uh, uh, immunotherapy and hormone therapy. Now that again depends on the type of tumor, the, uh, the stage of the tumor, that means the, whether the, uh, the disease has spread outside the breast, can, uh, breast to the lymph nodes or not. And in uh, all patients who require breast conservation surgery, radiation is mandatory. Awareness regarding breast cancer is of utmost importance because the most important or the most hindering factor which affects breast cancer treatment is the stigma involved with breast cancer. It is this stigma that prevents patients from uh, seeking medical help earlier. And only once this stigma regarding breast cancer is removed with proper awareness, only then the patient will benefit from the proper treatment and, uh, if, and help them go back to their normal lives at the earliest possible. Thank you.